So by now you guys should already know how my Ipsy unbaggings go. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this, see what we've got inside, and do a makeup look with it. This is interesting. It's wrapped in tissue paper. Okay. So it says here, your summer story starts here. And this is a really cute card. I actually really like this. So it's like summer themed. So don't know why it's in tissue paper, but we'll... Oh, this is cute! Okay, so that's why it was in tissue paper. The bag is clear. Um, so I can just throw that away. But this is the bag. It's clear and it has like little ice cream cones and popsicles on it. This kind of reminds me of a pencil bag that I used to have when I was in like elementary school. Um, but this is really cute. And I like the fact that it's plastic because that means it's waterproof. So I could take it to the beach with me. And all of the products in here are pretty openly laid out. And I am not seeing anything that I outrightly hate. So let's take a look. We've got Urban Decay After... Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. Very pretty holographic packaging here. I've heard a lot of people saying like mixed reviews about the Urban Decay highlighters. Give your skin a luminous illuminated glow that won't quit. Our lightweight finely milled formula feels super soft, blends easily, and lasts all day. Use the champagne highlighter to give a glow that will have people wondering what you've been up to. Hmm. That's suggestive. So it's like a little, it's a little square of Sin highlighter. It is quite soft. So that's Sin highlighter. Okay, I think I could get away with wearing that. It's really pretty. We got Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. This is the supercharged, super intense eyeshadow duo in the shade Electric. So this might be like some super bright. This doesn't look very electric to me. It's like browns. They are very soft feeling. Ooh. Those are reflective. I'm not even like. Hold up. Okay. Really, Pong Pong's not playing any games here. These are really reflective. They kind of look like foiled eyeshadows, even though I haven't wet them. They're very, very pretty. So one side's more of like a reddish copper, and the other side's like a nice highlighted gold. I kind of see the theme that they're going here, or that they're going for here with the Ipsy bag, so keeping it glowy and neutral. Always happy to have a black eyeliner. This is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Noir. Um, or, yeah, well, it's one word, so Black Noir. And it's just a black eyeliner pencil. I think I've actually used this one before. I've, I've tried so many black eyeliners, but it looks like it's gonna be like one of those glide-on, long-wearing eye pencils. Oh yeah, super black. Super creamy. That's gonna be perfect for the waterline. Last bit in here we have for makeup. This is the Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Tuscan Wine. I like the fact that this kind of looks like a fake lip pencil, but you, this is the cap. Whoops. This is the lip crayon. It's super tiny. Doesn't smell like anything, but let me go ahead and try it out. Okay. So it's a nice dark blue based red. Nothing too spectacular, but I'm always happy to have colors like this in my collection. And then the last bit in here is the Beauty and Pinups Fearless Hair Rescue Mask. Awesome. I do plan on re dyeing my hair at some point. Like, I did dye it red, but it has faded super crazy. And one of my favorite things to do after I dye my hair is put in like a moisture mask for like maybe an hour or two. So I'll try this out when I go to re-dye my hair and I will report back with how I like it. it kind of has like that standard hair conditioner smell, like you know what I mean? Like it doesn't smell like anything specifically fruity or floral, it just smells like hair care. And it's about the same consistency as like any other hair mask I've used, so nothing out of the ordinary. I think I have an idea of what I want to do, but it's going to veer a little bit just because 
I did get some new toys yesterday. So in honor of the fact that I got hired on at a new job, I went to the mall yesterday with my friend Ethan before we went to go see Wonder Woman, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen Wonder Woman yet and really want to, I highly recommend doing so. It is absolutely fantastic. I fangirled in the car. It was beautiful. But I wanted to kind of buy myself some uh, trinkets and toys because I got hired at a new job and I was very proud of myself so I decided to treat myself. So we went to Sephora and I bought myself the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I have all four of these really beautiful duochrome holographic highlighters at my disposal now. So I was hoping to incorporate these into my makeup today, but looking at the color palette, that might be a little bit hard. Um, I'm gonna try though. So we'll see what happens. So since I don't have any skincare to try on camera, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, put my foundation on, and then we will get into the makeup look itself. So I will be back in like three seconds. So yeah. Later. So I have my face base on and everything. So now I'm gonna start with the look and I'm thinking for eyebrows, I'm just gonna go for my usual black eyebrow. This pencil is from Ben Nye, it's just their black eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna do my eyebrows in my usual cartoony whatever way. Gonna do is I'm actually going to fill in my brows using the pixie liner that I got in the ipsy bag because when I went to go wipe off all of the swatches off of my hand this liner even with a uh, makeup wipe that is known to get off waterproof makeup this stayed pretty super well after a couple of seconds so I think I'm gonna make my eyebrows or I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows using this just to ensure that they're gonna be on there. And this is super creamy, so it's gliding on super easily. I feel like if I were to ever use like a glide on pencil like this for my eyebrows, I would kind of operate it in the same way that I do liquid liners because they're so creamy that I would worry about like destroying the nib if I were to draw it out if I was to draw out the guideline using this so I like set up the template before I go in with my liquid liner I think I want to do the same thing with creamy gel like liners like that this unbagging of my May Ipsy a little bit late because this bag was actually sent to my old apartment as opposed to my new address. When the Ipsy bag was sent to me, my roommate had to go get it, but she was out of town. So there was a lot of stuff happening and I wasn't able to grab that until literally the 31st of May, which is the last day of the month. So. Yeah, I do have my June Ipsy on the way here though, and I will film for that once it arrives. I think what I want to do is I'm going to put the copper side here all over the lid, and then I'm going to put the gold on the inner corner. Um, let me go ahead and do a transition shade though before I do that, just because I don't like straight up putting metallics on my eyes without having some sort of matte transition shade in the crease makes me feel a little weird. For my transition shade, just because it's the one that is the most within reach, I'm gonna go into my really, really old, really beat up and heavily loved Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Tyranny here. It's just a matte warm brown that is perfect for 
warmer smoky eyes and transition shades and all of that jazz. And I'm blending that in using a Scone Cosmetics blending brush that I got in my April FC. I haven't actually talked about my new job. So I am working at a liquor store, <laughs> which doesn't sound glamorous at all, but I really, really like it there. I like the people that come in. I like my coworkers. Um, my boss is really, really sweet. And I think the best part about this job is that the starting pay is really good. <laughs> Way more than I'm making at my old job. And um, they don't really have a dress code. Their only dress code is dress comfortably. And when I told my boss that, you know, I have piercings and this is my kind of style, she's just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, she, she didn't question it, she didn't tell me to take out my piercings, she didn't tell me that I couldn't have them. She actually encouraged me to, you know, be myself at work, and I thought that was really, really cool. I, w I wish more places were like that. It, it just made me really happy, and I'm really thankful that I'm now working in an environment like that, because... Yeah, my last environment, my last work environment was way more stressful than I needed it to be and way less understanding about um, my mental health and my school schedule, so it really, it conflicted a lot, but I've already told my boss about, like, you know, I'm a college student, this is my class schedule, this is what I'm going to be doing during these coming months, and she was, like, way more than understanding. And she told me as long as I get her times and I get her dates and we talk about it like weeks in advance, like everything should be PG Keen. So really excited about it. All right, back to the makeup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the Jelly Pong Pong duo. I'm not gonna get over this name. I'm gonna take a large fluffy brush like this. And I'm gonna go into that copper shade. I wanna see how this picks up on a brush because on my finger, this felt really, really soft. It was very pigmented. That's really pretty. I'm not really one for ever picking up eyeshadow duos either. I either usually pick up like single eyeshadows or um, palettes of some kind. I'm never, I'm never super drawn to duos and trios and quads for whatever reason. The only trio that I trios that I actively buy from, I would say, are the Wet n Wild limited edition eyeshadows just because I've used the Wet n Wild trios for years, like literal years. And I really really love them. So, I can I know I can trust them with other ones like I just don't really reach for them very often. I think this is only one of two eyeshadow duos that I now own. The other one is from e.l.f. that I got in a Halloween package that one of my friends gave me. I'm gonna go into a thinner, more smudgy type of brush, and I'm gonna go into that gold shade. This one's a little bit softer. I'm noticing way more kickback. I'm gonna get that right on the inner corner of the eye right there. That is... Collective as fuck. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna go back into Tyranny from the Pulp Fiction palette and I'm gonna bring that around my under eye. A little bit of that gold shadow from the duo on the lower inner corner. And this is something I used to do all while I was in high school because I don't actually know why I kind of stopped doing it, but something I would do is like if I had like a color in my inner corner on the upper lid and it was like super reflective, I would take it down onto the lower inner corner. 
And a lot of times it would look like I was crying glitter because I didn't know what Fallout was. I'm still trying to figure out a way of using the Alchemist palette with this, I think, because I got that Urban Decay uh, highlighter in this. I might use one of the colors from the Alchemist palette as like a like a bump, because like this is mostly a champagne kind of color, like kind of every day. But with the Alchemist palette, I'm thinking with this look especially, I could probably get away with using a little bit of the pink opal. Um, maybe the amethyst color because it matches my shirt, but I really want to play around with that pink opal color, so we'll see what happens there. I'm going to use the pixie color in my waterline and see how that works. Sin from Urban Decay. Uh, let me get a what kind of brush do I want to do this? I'm gonna get it on like a super flat eyeshadow brush here, and I'm gonna just put this onto my brow bone and the very inner corner of my eye. Definitely reflective. Like, I don't know what this angle is going to catch on this side. It'll probably catch on the other. Yeah. And the description was right. This is just a very nice golden champagne. Nothing unique or out of the ordinary. I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, I probably would have passed by it in the store. And I'm gonna go on the very inner corner of my eye over here with a little bit of sin. I'll just brighten things right up. It's really pretty. It goes super well with the uh, eyeshadow duo colors. You can go in with a my usual fan brush here and just go ahead and apply Sin. See how it applies as a highlighter. Partially I need to work out a better lighting situation, like, I'm still gonna film videos because I like it and I like them, but I really need to figure out something with this lighting situation because these overhead lights are not working for me anymore. Kind of a subtle highlight on the face. Like, it's not as reflective as I usually like my highlighters to be. Yeah, I'm gonna top that off with something from the Alchemist palette. Before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. Um, I don't know if I wanna do winged liner with this. I think I'm just gonna do mascara and call it a day. I completed very simple eyes for today like I said got to keep it kind of work appropriate but I really like really like this eyeshadow duo I'm liking the waterline eyeliner so far it hasn't like smudged or gone out of place I like the fact that it actually worked for my eyebrows 
and just by touching them, I'm not getting any black residue popping off of them, so I'm gonna guess that it's a very long wearing one. I like Sin as an eyeshadow with this look. So I might use this not only as an all over face highlighter, but an eye highlighter, highlighter, I guess you can call it as well. Um, on the face, it's noticeable, but it's not as blinging and popping as I wanted to. And I also kind of want an excuse to play with my Alchemist palette. So I'm gonna add on a little bit of pink opal. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna use pink opal on the inner corner. Here, I'm gonna take my little brush here. I like wearing highlighter on my cupid's bow. Wow, oh, fuck me up. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna leave my skin at that, keep it kind of fresh looking. I'm looking in my mirror over here and my face just has like this ethereal pink sheen to it. Like, oh Jesus, it's beautiful. Mm. So now I'm gonna add the mini matte lip crayon here. And with lip pencils like this, I do prefer to wear them with lip liners. So I am gonna go in and find a lip liner that's gonna match this. Closest color that I have to Tristique Tuscan Wine here is from Jordana. This is Sedona Red lip liner. wine over that. I mostly added the lip liner because the tip of this isn't really meant for precision. And I wanted to be able to that to get that crisp line that I really like with my lip looks. I don't know if I'll call this matte though. Like, maybe satin, but I don't think it's a matte lip color. Feels a little too creamy to be a satin in my opinion. I'm gonna go back into the Alchemist palette, grab pink opal again, and I'm gonna put that right in the center of the lower lip. See, I'm bagging. So overall, really dig this bag. Very pleasantly surprised by the eyeshadow. I was, when it said the shade name was electric, I was kind of hoping for something a little more brighter, but I really love these shades, especially the copper that's all over my lid. And when I added that gold in the inner corner, it just had like this vibrant push to it really really like these they're very soft and easily blendable so i'm gonna definitely use these in other looks the liner i'm also pleasantly surprised by um i can't really ever go wrong with a long wearing glide on pencil liner type of thing like this so yeah very happy to add this to my collection it will definitely get used because i use black eyeliner like practically every day. Sin highlighter is super pretty. I will say though it is very powdery. There is a lot of kickback happening in the packaging. Um, there was a lot of like extra dust being kicked up when I was using it. 
um, with my fan brush especially. Still a very nice champagne highlighter. I know I covered it up a little bit with that pink oval from the Alchemist palette, which by the way, um, I will probably be doing a full review on this in the next coming weeks or so. Um, but so far, very happy with it just by swatches and playing around with that pink opal shade. Um, but this was decent. Um, I will use this, uh, definitely in some other videos and whatnot. And when I do finally get my hands on a Z palette or some other type of magnetic palette, because I have a lot of colors that are, like, loose things like this, this will be going into it. I think it'll be perfect for, like, a travel size highlighter, especially if I'm putting everything into a Z palette. So. Yeah, dug that. The Tristique Mini Matte Lip Pencil. This is really nice, uh, but it didn't wow me. It's just a kind of generic red lip color. I have plenty lip colors like this. Um, and it's not really matte. It's more of a satin finish from what I can tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll use it. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but it's gonna get used because I, I wear lip, red lip colors quite often, especially for um, more like work environments and uh, like job interviews, classier type of events that I need to go to, so this will get used eventually. And then of course the hair mask I wasn't able to use right now just because I'm not in a shower, um, but once I do re-dye my hair and use this to... Uh, use this after I freshly dye my hair. I will get back to you and report to you on that. And then the back itself, it's a super cute print. I, it's very nostalgic for me because like I said, it kind of reminds me of like old school pencil bags that I had when I was in like elementary school. Um, and I also like the practicality of it being plastic because this is supposed to be like a summer beach type of theme. So I like the fact that it is plastic so it's waterproof and all really like protect your products that are inside um so really like that so overall may was a pretty good month i don't really have too many complaints about the bag itself um and i'm really excited to see what june has for me hopefully a little bit more of a colorful makeup palette to play with because i know with the last couple of ipsy um baggings most of the stuff that i've been getting is pretty neutral um, so hopefully I will be getting some more like colorful things or more products that will allow me to incorporate colorful looks. Still want to experiment a little bit more with this as like eyeshadow shades. Um, and uh, yeah, so far super pretty. I've only ever swatched them. They're very soft colors. Um, well not soft colors, but very soft formula. The only one that I've actually used as makeup is today, uh, Pink Opal, which I really like the super vibrant holographic sheen that's going on on my face right now. Don't know if it's being picked up in this stupid lighting, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of give you guys a demo of how everything looked. The lighting should be fixed pretty soon. I recently just purchased a ring light, so hopefully that will fix up a good portion of the problems I'm having with my lighting. Um, so yeah, this won't last forever, but I did want to get this video out for you guys because June's Ipsy should be coming within the next week or so, and I wanted to get this filmed before I filmed and edited that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unbagging. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And in the description below should be any information pertaining to the video that I didn't cover in the video. And also, finally, if you guys have any requests for videos that you guys want to see me do, feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments. Yeah, that should be everything. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.